Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Heather Autumn. So I'm living in a world where not only is it winter time in Massachusetts, but it's also COVID. So literally I'm kind of stuck in my house right now. So we recently had a snowstorm as you can see here. And here we got quite a bit of snow. This is the view outside my kitchen window. So that happened on Friday, today's Sunday. So it's been sitting out there a while. Now we're getting rain and it's freezing rain. <laughs> so needless to say, I'm in for the day, but that's fine because I actually kind of wanted to do a little bit better on my menu than I did last week. So today I'm taking the time to sit down and I, I planned out my menu yesterday and I bought all the things that I need to start this week off good and healthy. So I'm actually gonna be prepping for my lunches and for my dinners. This week, dinner is going to be like this smoked sausage soup that I have uh, a recipe for. I'm really excited for it. I like it too because you can freeze it. And again, it's cold out. So the idea of being able to just come home from work and reheat something I've already made is like perfect for me. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. And then I'm also going to be making a bento bowl. I like eating bentos. I'm pretty good at making them. I used to make them all the time. Yeah, so today is mostly a cooking day, which I don't hate. <laughs> so I got all of these nice things for dinner. Some kale, it's looking pretty. I have some onions and cilantro and parsley and dill. So I guess I'm gonna go get set up and I'm gonna start cooking my lunch. All right, so I am going to be making these bentos for my lunch. Um, so here is my bento box. You can see it's actually not that big, <laughs> um, but it can fit a lot. It's about the size of my hand. I will link where I got this bento below. Everything we're gonna be cooking for this bento is actually coming out of this book which I will also link below. Today I'm gonna to be making some curried chicken wings. Uh, it has a half cup of rice. I'm gonna put a tamago yaki in there, uh, which is a rolled omelet, which I'll show you how to make, it's easy. And then I'm also going to be going and adding in a little thing of marinated like beans, just mixed beans. And I think they're marinated in vinegar and dill, but I'll give you the whole recipe. It's gonna be on my blog as well. So if you want to visit my blog, it's autumnbecomes.me and I'll have everything written out for the lunch so that if you want to make your own bento you can so I just made the rice next thing we're gonna do is make the chicken um, so I got a baking sheet and I covered it in foil uh, they did recommend that I use parchment but I don't have any parchment I also got these chicken wings uh, they have the bone in them still and that's what I'm gonna be using so this recipe is for four servings uh, with two wings each and I'm going to uh, increase it a little bit because I want to make it for five days and I also want today to try it out so I'm gonna have to make six servings so I'm gonna increase the measurements a bit uh, but again the original recipe is going to be four servings and I will have it on my blog which I will link below okay so here we have our chicken wings and now I'm just going to mix some things in with them first thing we want to do is add some just regular old sea salt and we're gonna add some black pepper we're gonna add uh, some minced garlic. I kind of like buying my garlic this way. Um, it's just easier for me. I also don't get it all over my hands then. Then I also got this uh, grated ginger. So I'm just gonna put in about that much. We're gonna add one full teaspoon of curry powder. Then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of mayonnaise. Uh, this is Kewpie mayonnaise, and it is just kind of what they use in Japan. And so I'm gonna use that to try to get the best flavor. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of ketchup. All right, and then I'm just gonna put on some latex gloves and mix this all up. Okay, so we want our chicken wings to marinate in that mixture for about 15 minutes, which is why I kind of saran wrapped them and they're chilling in my fridge right now. So the next thing that we can uh, work on is these marinated mixed beans. Uh, they didn't really specify what kind to use, so I'm gonna just pick some from my pantry. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some green beans in there too. So I'm gonna just do it the way I remember my mom doing this and uh, do about a half cup, half cup of each bean. The kind of beans that we'll be using, we garbanzo, small white beans, I don't know how to pronounce the other name here, French style green beans, and dark kidney beans. Okay. 
Okay, so next we're gonna add roughly three tablespoons of both olive oil and just a regular vinegar. This is distilled white. Next you'll wanna do one teaspoon of just regular white sugar. You'll wanna do a half a teaspoon of just regular salt. And I'm gonna also add in a half a teaspoon of the minced garlic. And you wanna mix this all up together. Okay, so for this, um, we can't freeze it. So we're just gonna take everything and put it in a Tupperware container. And we're gonna put it in the fridge. I forgot to add the dill, so I'm just going to add a little bit in here. Maybe just a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna give that a good stir to incorporate it all. There we go. So when I pack those, I'm gonna have to drain off all the liquid and make sure that just the beans stay. So while we were getting all of our beans set up, we have our chicken all ready to go. It's been marinating for about 15 minutes, maybe a little longer in the fridge. So I'm gonna pop that on a cooking sheet that I've sprayed with some cooking spray. And we're going to cook this at 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And if you notice that your chicken is getting a little bit overcooked, you can always cover that in foil for those last few minutes. All right, so we have our chicken in the oven, we have our rice done, we have our beans done, and the next thing I have to do is make a rolled tamago. And what this is, is it's kinda like a sweet scrambled egg. There's sugar in it, there's mirin, there's soy sauce that you mix into it, and then you cook it on a tamago pan, which is like this, and you roll it as you go. All right, to make the base of our tamago yaki, we're gonna start off with three eggs. To that, we're gonna sprinkle in a little handashi, just a little. Then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of sugar. Then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of mirin and one teaspoon of kikoman soy sauce. And next, we scramble. All right, so we have our tamagoyaki pan. We have our heat on medium. So I'm just gonna wait for that pan to heat up. And we even want some of this to go up this edge here so that we have a wall that we can kind of start rolling down and making into the start of our tamago. So once you have that little edge rolled down, uh, just keep rolling it and you're gonna have your tamago yaki. <laughs> All right, so our chicken is done and our tamago is done as well, our rolled omelet. Here is what the chicken looks like, and it smells amazing. It's just like, it has like this sweet curry smell. And then the, here is our rolled omelet. You can kind of see it has a nice little spiral there. We're gonna cut that up, and uh, I'm gonna start plating this for you. So for the tamago yaki, I like to cut the ends off. This way too, you can kind of see that really cool little spiral. This is also a good time to taste test. Now some people like to add seaweed to their tamago yaki, or ham, or cheese. Um, I don't mind either way. So what I'm gonna do is take two of these and I'm gonna put them in here. Just like that. I'm gonna put my egg there. And then I'm gonna take my beans that I made, these right here, and I'm gonna take some, being careful to drain off that liquid, and I'm just gonna put it right here. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of sesame seeds just to garnish it. And this is my lunch. Hey, so it's the next day and I'm home from work and I've decided I'm gonna go and show you guys how to make a really vegetable-laden stew. This has parsnips, it has butternut squash, and it has baby potatoes in it and onions and just 
carrots, uh, celery, it has all kinds of things, including kale, which I hardly ever eat kale. Um, so I'm gonna go and show you how I cook this up. Like I said, it is after work, so hopefully I can get this done. Uh, I had to go to a meeting that was a bit late, and uh, yeah, but it's gonna be fine, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna start off using a pot like this. Okay, so through the magic of editing, I just chopped up all of my vegetables. And now we're ready to get this all started. So as you can see, we have a little bit of oil in here, just a splash of olive oil. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get my sausage in there and cook it one side for two minutes and then stir it up a little bit and let it cook on the other side for another two minutes, just to give it that nice kind of caramelized outside. All right, so our oil's nice and hot. So we're just gonna put in our sausage. I believe that's 12 ounces worth. I'm gonna try to get them all in a single layer if I can. There we go, that should be about right. So I'm gonna set the timer and we're gonna let these babies cook for about two minutes. All right, we've had these in here for about two minutes. All right, you can see that it's getting some really good color on it and everything. So we're gonna let these cook for another two minutes. All right, so I don't know if you can hear this sizzling. There we go. So those have been cooking for about four minutes total. So what we're gonna do now is add in our onion. It's just one onion that's been chopped. We're gonna stir it all together and uh, let them kind of get to know each other for about three to four minutes. All right, so while that's still cooking, I'm gonna take you through what we're gonna be adding for our seasonings. So in this we have Italian seasoning and paprika, black pepper and a pinch of salt, and garlic. And uh, so it's all in here, you can see that. So that's what we're gonna be adding to our onions and our sausages and just mixing it up. All right, so here's all of our seasonings. So we're just gonna pop them in and then we're just gonna mix it all up. The next thing we're gonna add is this entire thing. This has uh, some potatoes, onions, parsnips, celery, and uh, some butternut squash in there as well. So we're just gonna put all of this in here. You do wanna to try to cut everything, like your onions and your parsnips, all pretty much the same size, if you can help it. Uh, this is just gonna help them cook way more evenly. All right, so to this fabulous soup we're making, we're gonna be adding six cups of chicken stock. So I have the first two here. And the last one. There we go, it's looking like a proper soup. We're gonna give it a good stir. All right, so we're gonna bring that all to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it to medium low and let it simmer uncovered for about 40 minutes. Hey, so while we wait for our soup to come together, I'd just like to remind you guys to feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. It all helps my channel. It's one of my goals this year to have a thousand subscribers and I'm already 10% of the way there, so I'm pretty happy about that. But it'll enable me to do more things around Boston and just have more freedom to have a lot more fun. If you could do that, that'd be great. Uh, if you just wanna chill out and watch the video, that's fine too. <laughs> All right, so our soup is nearly done. All we have to do is add in some freshly chopped parsley and some kale, about a cup of kale. We're just gonna let it sit in there until it wilts and uh, then we're gonna serve it up. So this soup makes six servings, which means I'm gonna plate one and I'm gonna pack five of them up for the freezer. This is an excellent soup to just have on hand. Uh, it's perfect for freezing because it's mostly vegetables and broth. And I like that because when I get home from work, sometimes the last thing I wanna do is cook. I can just pop this out of the freezer and heat it up. This is already packed full of so many vegetables. It's looking really good. So I'm gonna get this plated. All 
right everyone so that's my dinner and it is a little bit late at night because like I said I had to come home and film this right after work but making this channel and making these videos for you brings me so much joy like it's synergistic it's mutual so I hope this inspired you I hope you uh, enjoyed the recipe and if so please feel free to drop me a line in the comments so thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful day bye Thank you.